Hi there, I'm Scott Lane, Game Director on New World. I'm here to talk to you about our progress, our plans, and our launch date. So last summer we communicated that New World would launch this spring and that the team was going to focus on adding more mid and end game content. Since then we've identified a few very compelling features that just wouldn't make that time frame. And we believe these features are going to transform the game. So we're going to take the time to add them before we put New World in your hands. New World's going to launch August 31st, 2021. This gives us not only enough time to implement those features, but to tune and polish them along with the entire experience. Closed beta is going to be on July 20th, and I really hope some of you come take an early look at the game. I'd like to take a few minutes and share what we're going to be working on between now and launch. First, we're adding another endgame zone, Ebon Scale Reach. This is a territory of lush wetlands and towering cliffs where an exiled empress is building a corrupted fleet that could be a threat to the entire world. Now onto those features. First one I want to talk about is Expeditions. These are five player instance adventures into the darkest corners of Eternum where players are going to face the most dire threats on the island and uncover more layers into the mysteries of the lore, including secrets behind the source of the corruption, the ulterior motives of the angry earth, and the deeper menace behind the soulless lost. So now I'd like to tell you just a little bit about Outpost Rush. Outpost Rush is an end game mode that calls players to a primordial river basin filled with forgotten ancient technologies and hidden sources of the powerful and volatile Azoth. Here you're going to battle in 20 versus 20 teams over multiple strongholds and you're going to use strategic resources not only to fortify your positions but to boost your power for assaults. Expeditions and Outpost Rush are big features for us leading up to launch, but we've also made a lot of progress since the preview event. I'm sure some of you have played or seen Reekwater, an endgame zone we added. We've also added fishing, we've done a full revamp to crafting, we added hundreds and hundreds of weapons and gear pieces, we've really improved combat, and we've added a lot of quest variety. All of this is in direct response to your feedback from the preview. And let me tell you, there's a lot more to come. For those of you who played in the preview event, I think you're really going to enjoy the changes and additions we've made. Getting our mid and end game right is critical to the game experience and adding new features, it takes time. At the end of the day, shipping a high quality, polished experience is our top priority and we plan to do just that.